Hey, Arito over here, nice watch party. And I'll show you my Seiko collection. Let's go. So first on the list, this one is a Seiko SUG 095. So I'm gonna get it. Let's go, let's go. This will be a easy video, no editing. So yeah, I fell in love with Seiko maybe around 2015. I got my first Seiko. Okay, so going back to the watch. This is a Seiko SUG 095. It's a diver. I think in the 70s. It came out in the 70s. So I bought this um, second hand in a thrift store. So obviously it's an automatic dive watch. Um, 150 meters with uh, water resistance and yeah, it's pretty it's pretty beaten but it's still working it's still ticking yeah, I like it because it has a good uh, I mean a good fit for my small like 6 and 6.3 inch wrist yeah, as you can see there you go has a lot of scratches um, you know, signs of wear and tear and uh, what I like about this one, apart from the size, is the uh, that's hand winding. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear, it, but yeah, it has hand winding. So this is watch number one. Let's put it aside. Watch number two is SNX73, aka the poor man's. Um, Rolex Oyster, uh, sorry, poor man's uh, day just with a date, <laughs> with a day and date. So this one is an older model, and I'm I really don't think this is the actual uh, reference number because this is I think from the 1980s. This is also secondhand, a recent purchase. Yeah, this is the what they say the Rolex killer or something. That's a good uh, all-round dress watch. Um, again, with a I think it's 39 millimeters uh, case diameter. Also powered with a the workhorse 7S26. Um, don't mind the. Uh, the link here it's uh, I think it's not original well I know it's not original this is the one at the top is original the one at the bottom is not but yeah, as you can see the old uh, style Seiko clasp which is still okay still good still working and this is the difference the case back is uh, is not clear some modders which I also mod and some others like this one because it's slimmer than the one with the exhibition case back. Okay, on the way to the our next watch is the SNZB33. Get another Seiko 5, but for this one, sorry, this is a special watch. Special because it's uh, it's modded. So I also do mod. I sell mods here in the Philippines, but mostly I dig the, you know, the OEM look, the original Seiko. Uh, I mean, I use Seiko parts. So this is SNZ B thirty three, a Seiko five, came out in the nineties, and yeah, this is a uh, this has I, I must say it's one of the good bracelets stock bracelets from Seiko let's open it Shush. there you go but I obviously I swapped it with a uh, urchin dial original urchin dial because my first Seiko watch is an urchin I mean the first one that I bought is an urchin although I received a, a Seiko 5 I think um, speed timer way back when I was a kid yeah the hands are original as a smooth bezel you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of like a kind of a yacht master style 
don't you think? I like the bezel, all steel. I mean, um, it's not steel, but uh, <laughs> with that embossed um, markings, and with that arrows, and that that um, loom pip, which looks like I think this is where the the Seiko Stargate got its. Uh, I mean, got the design cues. Yeah, this is also um, second hand. Another um, purchase. Uh, up next, SNK K87. What I think has the best um, affordable three three o'clock. Uh, where is that? Here, here's the one. Here's the one. Three millimeter. Uh, sorry, not three millimeter, but uh, three o'clock um, crown position. But you don't normally, you don't usually see on a Seiko, on a Seiko 5 anymore. Because they switched most of the Seikos and the divers. Seiko 5s and the divers are positioned at 3.5 or 4. So this one, again, the dial here, this is modded. All original, except for the, the hands. So the, the dial here is really from... From this case, the whole case, right? That's the SNZ B33. Okay, enough about you. So I think this is my my favorite watch because I wanted an Alpinist, but it's too expensive. So I, when I was looking at when I saw this one, this remind the dial reminded me of the the other Alpinist, the red Alpinist, the black Alpinist with the red um, Alpinist marking alpinist text so yeah i got this this is brand new snkk87 this is the the dial that's the original dial of the snkk87 which is uh modded of course because of its uh, you know i like the the case the design, case design and the usual exhibition case back yeah, this is good. This is, uh, I think this is my best mod. <laughs> my keeper. Another Seiko 5. The classic SNK L41. With uh, this one. This is my second, second um, Seiko 5 watch that I bought. Because that time I had an urchin, so it's a kind of a diver style watch. So looking for a more, um, not casual, but kind of um, the one I can wear on with during my meetings and whatnot. Again, this is modded, but only the hands. So yeah, as you can see, the crown position is at four or three point five. Case at thirty. This is thirty eight. Again, I, I chose this because I have a, I have a slim 6.2, 6.3 diameter um, wrist. Yeah, there you go. See, the, the, the bracelet is very rattly. The clasp is, uh, you know, that's push button, I mean, button clasp. An upgrade from the, the older Seiko 5s. So I only changed the hands to make it kind of look um, a Sarb or a Grand Seiko, which is like my my Grail watch, the Grand Seiko um, Snowflake. Okay, let's put it uh, down. And up next is an S N K D ninety nine, which I recently purchased. And uh, I haven't really worn it, so still, uh, well, I, I did put it on and gave it a try. But I'm actually um, selling this now. I just like the dial. I think the dial is the best um, feature of this watch. And, I mean, not just the dial, but also the, the, ind the, indices, the indices, the markers. Yeah, very elegant, very classy for its price. The only thing.